Welcome back to Zenith Games Plays A Hat in Time. What's this? The emergency button, perfectly designed for moments when you need a button to push but can't find one anywhere else. So this is the second of two episodes that had a bit of an issue. In the last episode, we were at Alpine Skyline. Uh, I tried to go this way, I can't go that way. So this is post-commentary. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I have everything sorted out and we don't have to worry about this anymore. But until then, we are back and I was trying to decide what to do. And um, I kind of decided, having done a little bit of everything, that maybe going back to Mafia Town would be a good idea. Because I'm sure there's fun stuff to do there. I'm up to 15 time pieces, which is pretty exciting. Um, so, I don't know. I was just kind of taking my time. And I, I can't really listen to my audio from the other episodes. Unfortunately. I'm actually really annoyed that that happened. I don't know what's up with that. But I'll bop these. It's a small machine that takes tokens and gives off a gift in return. Spend three tokens on a gift. So I decided to skip that. And then I got Hat Flare again. And uh, I decided I would keep it. And it's an upgrade for Kid's Hat. So I don't really know. I probably could have got something better. But that's what I took. Um, it happens. It actually suggested that I go back to Mafia Town, so I was like, okay then, why not? And we took a look, and I unlocked this mission. I looked really quick to see where that time warp was. Um, and yeah, so we're going in to the next stage in Mafia Town. And that is heating up Mafia Town. So here we go. Chapter one, act six, heating up Mafia Town. I uh, was pretty surprised that this was a thing, not gonna lie, it looks pretty interesting. And uh, there's been some changes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Look at mess, this is terrible. Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town. Same faucets that control the town volcano. Yep. Was it you, child? No? Mafia think he saw a little girl turn on all faucets. So it was Mustache Girl. Even that kid, can you save Mafia Town by turning off all faucets? If you close all, maybe water start flowing again. I can do that. So, uh... M mustache girl is gonna be very upset that we're doing this because we're just trying to help anyone out and she's I don't know she's kind of being mean too um so the big point of this level is there's all these faucets that I need to um go and shut off all across the level and they're sort of marked by these, like, glowing, like, logos. And it took me a little while to figure out exactly, like, how I was supposed to turn them off. Unfortunately. So I kind of gave up on that one for right now. And I'm going to go get a different one. So... I found a blue vault code, but I'm gonna not worry about that right now. Um, so there's a like bounce spot there. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So if you bounce that, it takes you right down to where you need to go to do this lava based jumping mission. Some of these jumps were like tighter than I could make 
which was kind of annoying. Um, so there was a nice rift token over here as well. Bop him. And like the hitbox on these is like very close. So like you really need to get like, you can't do it from on top. You just, you have to be like super close. And every time you clear one, it hits a checkpoint. I don't know what it was with my obsession with doing uh, lava levels on the one time that I was playing through this game this day. But uh, we were doing lava levels. That's what it was. That was the deal. Also, I think I might have glitched the game. Because you see this cannon? I hopped in it. And it shot me through a place that I'm definitely not supposed to be able to go. Um, I don't know what was up with that exactly, but when I went, this is what I found out. Cave of limits, boss orders. So, I don't know what was up with that exactly, but uh, popping some more of that. Watch out for the enemies. There's another faucet. Uh, first, bop this really quick. But, gotta head over. And, I know it's right there. Thank you for pointing. I, like, was trying to find, like, a sturdy place to stand to set it off. And that seems to work. So, off to the next one. Uh, there's a couple more. This is a fun mission, I'm not gonna lie. He's cheering for me. And one of the cool things is, I can do this now. Um, I can use the grappling hook to sort of get around. Somehow I managed to not burn myself. Which, honestly, was just luck. There's nothing further to it. So the issue that I had with the audio in these is that uh, it almost sounded like it recorded in the wrong bit rate or something. I don't even, I've never heard anything like it before. It just, everything sounded very robotic. It sounded okay in the, um, in the test run that I do because I always test the recording once before I start recording a set of episodes. Also, you can't climb ladders, which is kind of funny. But, um, what's he pointing at? Over there? Oh, there is one down there as well. But, I'll get to it. Um, so, yeah, what ended up happening, I'm more interested in that yarn, in case you're not aware. Um, and there we go. More yarn. Um, I was, it's just like, it sounds clippy and buzzy and I just, I don't know. And every episode that I did on that recording got messed up, but then I restarted my computer on the Mac side and recorded Super Mario Odyssey and it was fine and like I'm using the same microphone right now I'm using the same audio interface right now it's plugged into the same like USB port everything is exactly the same as it was and it just I don't know so this is another spot where I need that time warp thing to the time stopping to like make those blocks appear I think and we're going up this way to shut off yet another faucet also I think there's was there a faucet over here or am I just going for the yarn 
I'm so busy talking about... Oh, there's a rift token. I'll take that. Oh, there is a faucet down on the bottom. So I kind of landed on the balloon just to be safe. And then I hopped over here. And managed to not burn myself, which is always nice. Spin around. Totally missed. I do feel like the, um... The hitboxes for these, uh... Like, tightrope type things, they can... Be very tight at times. Which I guess makes sense. Oop, gotta bop these. I've been collecting like an awful lot of these gems, which is always good. It's a hunk of meat, just like in your cartoons, only far bigger. Weird, considering you haven't spotted any leviathan animals around here. Wall jumps everywhere. And somehow I think I went through the wall. I didn't even realize that when I played the game, but yeah, I definitely just flat out clip through the wall because I hit it at the right angle. Bounce up. And come on. I will get where I want to go. So it looks like there's a couple more. This mission did take a little while. Um, it was kind of annoying because I don't know what that, I guess that was another blue rift, like one of the blue tokens. Oh, I'm back here where I kind of messed up before. But uh, I'll come back because I'm focused on this one right here. Going down. Hop. And I figured I would take out these like sleepy enemies first because uh, I didn't want them bopping me if I wasn't prepared. So again, I gotta carefully hop over and gently, gently inch off the edge. Look at that mafia guy in the corner. Fantastic. Um, and go on up really fast. Come on. Sometimes I feel like the wall jump mechanic clicks in before I want it to, but that might just be me. Um, so it looks like, is that the last one? That might be the last one. They're sort of all over the island. I think it is. I'm surprised I didn't bop that. Uh, where am I going? That way. Launch myself. And uh, look at all that lava. Pretty crazy. Bop it. And is that all of them? Yeah. So it changes from lava back to the water. And, uh, I guess it's going to take a little bit of time, but I seem to have sort of fixed it, which is good. And we got to go back up. So I can swing up now. I don't need to worry about those balloons. There's the cannon. Launch. They're all happy now. <laughs> Cute. And we're gonna hop in the cannon, launch on up, and... You did it! Small child saved Mafia Town! Now Mafia no longer need to eat lava for breakfast. Amazing! Please, take this as trophy. You are truly the hero of Mafia Town! I can't imagine Mustache Girl is going to be happy that I'm the hero you did it. of Mafia no, Town. Please. So, let's take our timepiece. 
So I've been seeing online that there's um, 40 of these. So I'm at 16. Um, at this point in the episode, I was pretty sure I didn't have enough time to like go and explore a new area. Though I know that there's missions. And so I ended up deciding what we're going to do is launch on up here and there's a second time rift which made me decide that's what I need to do is I need to go through the time rifts again I was having switch to xbox controller problems so there's the first one there in like a sewer and then that one's like in the town or something, I guess? I don't know. Um, so I just picked Act 1 because it seemed like it was the easiest one to navigate through. I probably could have picked the one with the golden tickets as well, but I figured I'd want to be on the bottom level because that's where everything seemed to start. So it was also kind of funny to be back here and see these cutscenes again. And then, like, flat out keep up with um, Mustache Girl. So, one thing I realized was this red vault that was here right at the beginning that, like, I got so confused about. There's ticket number one. There's ticket number two. And um, ticket number three is right there. So... I don't know why I couldn't do that before. I'm a dummy. But I got it now. So, if you saw that in the first episode and were like, how could you miss that? I didn't miss it anymore. So I was just kind of looking around. I figured the sewer one, it must have been like by water, right? Because that only makes sense. It's the sewer one. So I figured it had to be down one of those paths. So that was kind of my thought process for what I was doing right here. And uh, I happened across this. And I just managed to get it. Um, Hat Girl can be a little hard to point in the right direction sometimes in the air. I guess that's my criticism. Then I wanted to see if I could climb this just because. But uh, what was more important was bopping this, and we're up to almost 600 green orbs, which is nice. And then I uh, was looking around, and hey, there's a ticket for the green vault. But what's more important is, here's a time rift. So here we go, the time rift in the bazaar. Uh, these levels really remind me of Mario. Um, I know they're inspired originally on the Super Mario Sunshine, like, challenge levels, which I didn't really play Super Mario Sunshine, so, yeah. Um, my GameCube time was spent a little more on Sonic and Super Smash Brothers. I honestly don't, yeah, I didn't have Mario Kart either. I didn't have Mario Kart Double Dash, and to this day, that's the only Mario Kart game that I'm like, eh about um but there's chocolate chip cookies in this level which i have no complaints about chocolate chip cookies though i did fail pretty bad right there um so these levels are like the most traditional platformy uh odyssey actually has stuff sort of like this too the um the rocket levels in particular remind me a lot of this. Um, I know this stuff isn't exactly a new design. And then we hop over here and there is another timepiece. So we're up to 17. Um, I honestly... And I get a, another spin. So... I decided not to go for a new color. I don't even know what a new color does. 
but I passed on it. I did see like a level three hat flare and I was like, I don't know what that is. So I decided to take that and now it's, there's like that little flower on the kid hat as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I decided there's enough time. I'm going to go for that last, um, that last little time rift because I still couldn't find it. I still don't have enough quiet to make my, um, new hats and I know it wants me to. I was trying to see like if I could equip more badges or something on like the higher level hat, but it doesn't seem to be a thing. Uh, so the upgrades, as you can see, like first it got a bow and then it got stripes and now it has the, um, flower. Maybe if I get a color in a future episode, I'll take it just cause. So let's hop over to find this one, which looks like it's in a sewer. And here we go again. I launch act one because it's the easiest one to navigate. And here we go. I just was like, I don't need to see these right now. So you can actually see how many um, time pieces are left. I was trying to see if there's a way to skip that. There just, there wasn't. Um, so I'm down one time warp and I'm down one uh, like stage. So I get the last, I, re I realize this is exactly, um, exactly where you start. You put that little uh, hole in the tarp. And so this is where I start looking for sewers and balloons. And I figured it wasn't down here. I didn't see it, right? But I figured I'd keep looking and I see nothing. So I was like, maybe this will help. And it actually did. It took me right back up. Um, and I just, I hopped down each path of water until I found it, which was a pretty good idea. And, uh, actually you can see it right there. I tried to sort of dash into it, but that didn't work. And again, floaty air controls, but... Eventually, it gave me the time warp. And this is the time rift in the sewers. So, this in particular, with like all the jumping, reminded me of the, uh, the Cap Kingdom aesthetic of Odyssey. Like, that first level where you, um, you take over the frog. The frog would have made this a lot easier. I could have just skipped everything. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Maybe Cappy could make appearances in like a Hat in Time 2. He seems like the kind of character that would fit. Though I'm sure uh, Nintendo would not approve. So we're gonna hop over this way. This one, we got a checkpoint. So this one's all about speed because they're gonna start closing. I actually got a really bad start, so I'm lucky that I was able to get a good run in. And then we've got a, there it is already, yet another timepiece. This game is beautiful, not gonna lie. It's, it's not the most graphically intensive, but I love the look. And there you go. That's our 18th timepiece. And we spin again, and by accident, I took a new remix, but at least I have a new electronic remix of Mafia Town, which I guess we'll hear next time I go there for the final mission, maybe? I don't know. Um, and there's an intruder alert, and it looks like some of the owls 
are there ready to be a band. So we'll check some new stuff out in the next episode. This is Zenith Games. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.